I have a cousin <clears throat> who believes that men have periods and believes that your videos are transphobic. Please steel man the argument for this and give scientific argument against. Steel man the argument that we're transphobic. Um, well, the steel man the argument that men have periods. So, you know, we, we have been consistent and clear that we do not think that trans is a fiction. We, we know trans people. We count trans people among our friends. And um, we understand that um, while sex is uh, a, a binary, effectively a binary, going back to the anisogamy anis of two very different gamete types um, that in our lineage is 500 million years old at least, uninterrupted, um, that the manifestation of individual bodies with regard to what sex they are are more complex and um, therefore some can be uh, somewhat messier and that there can be a disconnect between say your actual sex, your actual sex, which is to say, you know, the gametes that you produce and your chromosomal sex, which in mammals and birds um, is, um, is determining what sex you are and your anatomical and physiological sex, like the, you know, the primary and secondary sex characteristics that um, are revealed on your body. And, um, and also endocrinologically, and then also the sex of your brain. And this is where things get more and more fuzzy. You know, male and female brains are on average different in some regards. I can't remember which way it goes, but one, oh, I should look it up, but one, one sex of brain tends to have more white matter and one sex of brain tends to have more gray matter, for instance. Um, so, you know, there are average differences with yes, ton of overlap between them. Um, but it is, there, it is quite possible given the complexity and length of development for, um, signals to get mixed and for someone to be an actual male, for instance, with a brain that feels so female that it is, um, irreconcilable for them to live as a male. And so basically for the, for their, their feeling of their own sex in their brain to be not the sex that they are, and therefore to live their best life, lives, to live their best life, um, to live as the sex that they are not, and therefore to be, um, you know, trans, to be, to be nice, to be respectful. I am fine calling a, a person, and I guess I've used the wrong example, but someone who is actually female, who thinks that, who, who really feels in their brain that they need to live as a man, that that trans man will continue to have periods, probably. Um, frankly, if they're continuing to have periods, they probably aren't fully transitioned because um, once you're on testosterone, you probably are not continuing to have periods, although you know, I'm, I don't know enough about the various endocrinological uh, things to know that for sure. Um, I would not call such a person a man. They're not a man. They're a trans man, and that is a sign of respect, and I'll be happy to use he, him pronouns with such a person. Um, but um, at base, that person is a biological female, um, because biological females are the people who have periods, not men. All right. So I agree with what you said. Mm -hmm. I tracked it very carefully. Um, I think we can say it very simply. Great. Let's do it. Okay. So what I would say is trans is a real phenomenon. Mm -hmm. It is an ancient phenomenon. It is one that we see in many different cultures. Mm -hmm. There are uh, allowances for such things and the expectation that they will happen. Sorry. So I want you to, I'm going to have you go back and do this briefly again, but let me just interrupt right there and say, we in fact know that trans is not just um, real and ancient, but is, um, has many different causes. It's actually multiple things. So for instance, um, there's a small population in, I think it is Haiti with what is now understood to be a very real genetic variant mm -hmm. that produces transness such that the rate of trans people in this one village in Haiti is sky high compared to, you know, every place else where it's a tiny fraction of 1%. So I think that genetic variant is unknown in the rest of the world, for instance. But so, you know, in this particular part of Haiti, um, trans is understood to be caused by a particular genetic variant. Yeah. Unknown and no reason to believe it exists. Right. Um, in other words, it's not typically caused by genes as far as we know. Yeah. Um, okay. So by some genetic variant. Start so, again with your brief okay. explanation. Here. Trans is ancient, mm -hmm. natural, and there are allowances for it in many cultures as a result. When a person is trans, um, 
they arrive there by self-designation, by reporting features of their personality that would tell us that their mind feels more female even though their body is male. And in such a case, the right thing to do is to treat them as a man for some intents and purposes. And that's the point. It's not all intents and purposes. That's why we are fighting over the term man, right? Mm -hmm. What intents and purposes? Well, let's just say loosely social insofar as it doesn't mm -hmm. cause a bigger problem somewhere else. They're not um, a man from the point of view of a karyotype, from the point of view of their doctor, right? They are uh, a man from the perspective of uh, social interaction and uh, our treatment. And then we run into, again, places where we can't be so simple about it when we get to um, sexed bathrooms, sports, prison, other things where we actually have to make a call and the answer is not simple, right? So anyway, this is my- Houses for um, survivors of domestic violence. Sure. Like there, there is a, just like there is a reason for um, non-symmetrical protections for women under the law. There is a reason for women to have spaces which men cannot enter. And um, this is an obvious potential way to game that. And uh, we know that even though the vast majority of people who are actually trans would never be doing that, that it has happened. Right. So the simple version, the steel man version is trans is natural. That means that there are uh, people who are born female, who transition to male, who um, may continue to have periods, and they should be treated as men where practical, right? But not everything. That's where... Um, we part ways with the yeah. idea that men can have periods because that's absurd. Period is a, uh, a biological phenomenon. There's a reason that it strikes the mind as inconsistent to hear that, and the mind is not incorrect to register that inconsistency. So yeah. no, now, I mean, it's... Go on. how do we know that we are not transphobic? Because we've just told you, A, that we've had many trans students that we get on well with them, that we regard trans as a natural and ancient phenomenon that cultures have incorporated for, uh, well, thousands of years. And how could we possibly be transphobic if that's what we're saying? It doesn't mean we're not wrong about stuff, but the, it's in the idea well, that we are somehow hostile to transness is... No, I think that's being too generous. Um, transphobia is a term that doesn't mean what it seems to mean. Actual transphobia, um, which I haven't exactly run into, would be it's not real at all. There is, there is, there is no, there is no way to be thinking about anyone being trans. Um, uh, I, don't, I don't, I don't even know what it would sound like, honestly. So I'm not, I'm not even sure I think that the word has any meaning, honestly, outside of the trans rights activists who use it as a weapon. It's used as a bludgeon um, to, and so. Almost anyone who is wielding the term transphobia at this point, I would say, no, you are reality phobic. I'm not transphobic. You are reality phobic. Uh, let, us, let us lay out for you what is actually true and where the points are that we could reasonably disagree. And um, if, if you really believe that a, a period, which is the result of a uh, failed fertilization of an egg event, which is as female, as fundamentally female a process as can possibly be, is something that could be happening in a male body, then you need a better education. We don't need to ad admit that we're transphobic. You need to admit that you're reality phobic. 